Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. It is always a pleasure having you. Akwaibom State, under the able watch of Governor Godwin of Papu, has not just become a beautiful bride for investors, but has played host to national and international conferences like the Nigerian Army Day, the PDP National Walking Committee Conference, CBN Retreat, the popular Koda Ultimate Search, African Women in Leadership Conference. In fact, the events have been in their hundreds. Recently, over 300 members and the leadership of Nigeria Chartered Institute of Management converged in Akwaibom State for the 2013 conference. They were led on the project tour of facilities in the state and sought for themselves on common transformation in action. The high point of their convergence in the EU was the bestowing, for the very first time in their 50 year history, the Distinguished Manager of the Year Award on Governor Akwabi, who himself is a fellow of the body. Two days ago, the state celebrated her 26th anniversary of statehood. I'm sure you all saw it on national television, but that is a story for another day. For now, let us take you back to the Nigerian Institute of Management Conference, and that is our package for today. I am Mathlin Ngong. Happy viewing. History was again made as Governor Gusri Lakpabi of Akwaibom State bagged the Nigerian Institute of Management chartered Distinguished Man of the Year Award, thus becoming the first man to bag the award in the 52-year history of the esteemed institute. The investiture took place in Uyo, the Akwaibom State Capital, as part of activities to mark the end of the institute's conference held in Uyo. Prior to his investiture, the institute had last year conferred on Governor Akpabio a fellowship award in recognition of his public good governance profile in Akwaibom State, which has seen to the construction of the first ever e-library in Nigeria, the first in Africa pipe jacking underground drainage project, Ibom International Airport, reputed to have the longest runway in the country, roads totaling more than 1,200 kilometers, complete with street lighting facilities, four new flyover bridges to ease traffic congestion in the capital city, a 30,000-seater international stadium to boost sports development, an entertainment center, the Boom Tropicana Center, to boost tourism, a state-of-the-art banquet hall, an ICT-compliant new governor's office, a new governor's lodge, deputy governor's lodge, 20th anniversary specialist hospital, plus five more general hospitals, among other turnkey projects. These and others have made the state stand out as a beautiful bride, which have attracted an array of individuals, groups, and organizations to the state within the last six years of the Akpabi administration. The state, in simple words, has become a destination of choice in line with the vision of the state chief executive, Governor Gaswil Akpabio. Within the last few years, the state has hosted the Nigeria Army Day, PDP National Working Committee Meeting, Senate Retreat, Nigerian Editors Guild Meeting, CBN Retreat, the Gilda Ultimate Search Show, Lagos State House of Assembly Retreat, among other notable meetings. And so, it was no surprise that the NIM decided 
to hold their conference in Uyo in acknowledgement of the peaceful ambience and the unparalleled hospitality of the good people of the state. You're watching the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. Stay tuned. This is not the first time Apabio, fondly referred to as Mr. Infrastructure by his admirers or the promise keeper, would be honored since he assumed the office of governor in 2007. For example, he was honored with the commander of the Order of the Niger CON by President Goodluck Jonathan in 2011, Congressional Certificate of Recognition of the U.S. Congress 2011, Gold Humanitarian Award, the highest national honor of Niger Republic, Exam Ethics Marshal 2009, Ghana, Honorary Doctorate from more than 15 reputable academic institutions and honors from media and professional bodies within and outside Nigeria. They include the Doctor of Management Science from the Nigerian Defense Academy. Kaduna, Governor Apabio has been honored as Man of the Year of the following newspaper outfits, some of which are Sun Newspaper Man of the Year, Daily Independent Man of the Year, Silver Bird Television Man of the Year, National Daily Man of the Year, Ben TV London, Governor of the Year and Nigeria Union of Journalists Merit Award for Good Governance. Chief Apabio is also a proud recipient of the Africa Lifetime Achievement Prize and many more. He was recently elected Chairman of PDP Governors Forum, a portfolio he is handling to the delight of Nigerians. <laughs> This award started with the visit of the president of the institute, Dr. Michael Olawale Cole, to the seat of government, where he was received by the state chief executive, Governor Pabio. The president, who is also chairman in council of the Nigerian Institute of Management Chartered, said they were proud to be in the state, disclosing that NIM for 52 years has not had its conference in the south-south zone. Dr. Olawole, who described the conference as an eye-opener of prospects and hopes in Nigeria, said it was encouraging and a clear testimony of good leadership, applauding the development strides of the state governor as overwhelming.
attributed the success of his administration to integrity in governance through the execution and implementation of development projects. The governor commended the leadership of Nigerian Institute of Management, noting that the organization, in its 52 years of existence, has produced committed leaders who have served the country diligently. High point of the conference was the presentation of the NIM Man of the Year Award to Governor Pabio at a gala held in honor of the delegates to the conference. NIM President Cole performed the ceremony, which also featured the presentation of fellowship awards to some distinguished sons and daughters of the state, including one-time Secretary to State Government, Obama and Grace Kong, Engineer T. Duin Young, Special Advisor to the Governor on Technical Matters, Permanent Secretary, Office of the Governor, Itekambaro Moren, and Aparawa Sandu B. We have been quietly honored and celebrated with this and outside the state because of his great investment in human and infrastructural development. He has emerged as one of the most honored men in our country today. President and Chairman of Council Nigerian Institute of Management, Dr. Michael Olawole Cole, who presented the award to the Governor, noted with satisfaction the outstanding contribution of Governor Fabio to the development of the state and Nigeria. He said, We want to celebrate you for what you are doing. Those of you who are here for the first time, 
or who have been here for a while have seen the great work that this great Nigerian has done for this great state. His best is yet to come. I was tempted just to go straight and do the presentation. But we must have a basis for what we are doing. Those of you who are here for the first time, or who have been here for a while and have come at the game, will have seen the great work that this fine, this thing that we have done for this great state. For the paper today that was given on his behalf by the government, he defined governance as a social contract between the government and the government. And he then said, good governance is to distinguish responsible and responsive governance from irresponsible and insensitive governance. These are his words exactly. I'm not surprised to do very well. He also said good governance has several characteristics. He said it is participatory, it is consensus oriented, accountable, transparent, responsible, effective, efficient, equitable, inclusive, and adherent to the rule of law. He also gave us the essentials of good governance. One, the rule of law. Two, government must be aligned with functions. Three, he said government should minimize the cost of production and unemployment. Four, he said government should provide infrastructure and public goods. Examples of this is given to this paper and which we all have seen in this great state since took over. What I have seen here is shocking to me and I said it. I'm sorry I was supposed to government in the financial works in Lagos State. Therefore, I should know what it means to come well. You are doing a good thing here and I said it. And I told you that I will do my very best if possible to bring the conference to this state. I want to assure, I want to tell you sir, we have not for any second effect of coming here. You are a very friendly governor with the Institute and with this country and with your people. I want to wish you well. I want to assure you again, sir, it's a prophecy that the best is yet to come for you. A man who has governed a state very well is also able to govern a year very well. And I wish you well. I will say that it takes to me a great privilege. To give you, sir, your celebrity, the Nobel Award. This is the first time we are giving anybody in this country this award. The Distinguished Manager Award of the Year 2015. You are the first person to receive this in the 52 years of energy. I feel this emotionally that I spoke to you, that you decided. It. Congratulations. Responding, Governor Okpabio thanked the Nigerian Institute of Management for finding him worthy of the inaugural award of Distinguished Man of the Year, describing the award as uncommon. The state chief executive attributed the success story of Akwaibum State to sound budgeting and prudent management of the state's resources, stressing that his administration has for the past six years maintained a budgetary provision of 80% for capital expenditure and only 20 for recurrent, resulting in the quantum of projects his administration has executed so far. The governor described the Nigerian Institute of Management Chartered 
as one of the most respected institutes in Nigeria, adding, It is my prayer that this institute continues to work stronger and stronger. You are best him as an excellent manager who requires constant supervision. Is that a manager? No. So a manager is somebody who can, on his own, take the initiative. And you tend to discuss the thing, essentials of good governance. I don't think you had any other state you could have gone to. Even if we did not have a place for you. Essentials of good governance and progressive work, transformation. Do I need to speak? I'm a lawyer, and we say yes, it's a Lupita. I want you to take time with all the stakeholders, go around the states, try and get a little bit outside with you, and see some of the transformational strikes that we have made in the last six years. And for fellow Nigerians, I believe that this is where politics 101 starts from, if you want to rule your state. Come here, and learn something from here. If you can't learn any other thing from Uncle Ivan, ask yourself, why would you, the governor of Uncle Ivan be the first person to be given manager of the year? Manager of the year by NIM. Something that has not happened in the previous When we will ask, we will have a lot of answers. The one thing that will strike you, you just look around and say, no, let's not talk about the flower grass. Any person could have done those things. Let's not talk about all the rules we did. Let's not talk about the free and compulsory education in Kukuna for all Nigerian children. Let's forget the fact that he has reduced infant mortality and maternal mortality because of his policies on health. Let's not talk about the five grand new general output. Let's not talk about the state of the house international output that he can. Let's not look at the five jacket grade system. Let's not look at the airport and all those other things he has done. But let's look at one thing. And that has to do with budgeting. He is the first Nigerian government to have 80% capital and 20% recurrent, consistently for six years. Because you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. From budgeting, that is where the success of transformation starts. The first Nigerian government, go analyze the budget of a five and say, since I became government in 2007, it has always been 20% recurrent and 80% capital. A government that thinks of the people. So I thank you, Mr. President. I thank all the board members. I thank all the stakeholders. I thank all the fellows and those who looked around the entire country and found the work of this honor. You have honored me, God will continue to honor you and your generation. There were several awards categories, including the Presidential Award which went to Mr. Grant, the South-South Image, the Best Zone. Oshun State took the Best State Award, while Wari Image, the Best Chapter, at the event. As is customary, guests were treated to the hospitality of Akwaibom State with cultural displays, songs and dances, as well as comedy by renowned comedians. Delegates to the conference were taken on guided tour of projects by the Apabi administration, after which they bathed their minds. This is a very gigantic uh, project, and it is a plus to the government. But I think there is a lacuna, being that I don't know whether there is a proposal to subsidize the cost of medical care to the people of this state. We are at the stage of building a turnkey infrastructure that we are always running to India and other places to look for. Yeah. Let us achieve what will give our people health. And then we'll get into the modalities of cost. Already in the state, we have free health care program for children aged 0 to 5. We have free health care program, free delivery for pre pregnant women. We have free health care program for retired people and adults from age 65 across board. So there's no question of health care not being provided for the people. But we also need specialized health care facilities. And that is where this project comes in. If, for example, you are in a hospital, a tertiary uh, uh, hospital, or let me say uh, the secondary hospital, and then you have to come into this primary, you realize that it is easier, it is shorter. Life expectancy is, is assured because you are flying or you are moving from a hospital that is close by to a specialist hospital rather than planning to take you to 
to, uh, to India. A goldfish, they say, has no hiding place. And it is our hope that the dreams and vision of this amiable leader will materialize in the years ahead as the state looks forward to becoming the epicenter of national development and truly the destination we all crave to have. This, indeed, is uncommon transformation. Great leadership there. A lot more is happening in Akwaibom State and we keep celebrating week in, week out. But for now, this is where we draw the curtain. We'll see you sometime, same station next week. But to find out more, you can follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or call with the numbers showing on your TV screen. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. On Common Transformation Television Series brings to you the latest information of the monumental achievements of the Governor at Pabio led administration. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to read the latest news, watch amazing videos and listen to in-depth analyses and interviews with the men and women working hand-in-hand -hand with stakeholders to make a Kwaibum state better. You can also log on to our website www.uncommontransformation.tv for more information. On Common Transformation Television Series, bringing to you the right and current information when you need it.